Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and this is the beginning of a brand new Let's Play of Seven Days to Die. I've been itching to bring this one to the channel and I've been playing it on the side on Twitch and a little bit with the Complete crew and this is great fun if you've got a few friends. So we're playing this one on PC but it is available on console. I do believe that it's around Alpha 14 the console finish so there is quite a few differences starting with these new tutorial missions as you can see up in my top right hand corner wants us to craft and place a bedroll so we just need to knock all of these missions out of the way first and that will grant us four skill points so I'm going to go over this one slowly for those of you who are new to the game or perhaps you haven't picked it up in a while but it is good fun and like I say it is back in Alpha 20. Right, it's just to craft a stone axe. Let's just grab them feathers and of course we'll have to start by punching a tree. Let's just craft the stone axe. I'm going to do all of these base missions just first. Okay, now we've placed a campfire and that's opened up the trader. So it's best just to get their missions fired off as quick as you can and then assign your points. And I guess we're going to go into clubs this time. So we'll stick a point in Pummel Pete and a Sexy Rexy as well. That one gives us some more strength, more stamina. Minus 69er and I guess my last point I'm going to put just into strength, just something to help out with stamina. At the beginning of this game you are pretty squishy. So I've just crafted a level one axe. Oh, hey, wabbit. I'm getting distracted, I'm getting distracted. So if I do die in this let's play, then the game is over. I'm gonna do permadeath. I figured otherwise, Seven days doesn't really have an end, it just progressively gets harder and I hope I can last long enough with this challenge at least to introduce you all to this game for those of you who are new. Okay so just grab the load of wood. We're not encumbered by the amount of a resource but just the slots that we have in our inventory. Stones are something I'm going to need, and feathers. Is that wabbit again? I'm going to get that soon. Could just do with looking around for a few more feathers. Just so we got some basic stone arrows and stuff. Now, I wondered whether we should take over a point of interest or just go for the square box build, see how we get on. There's a little bit of power defense involved in this game as well if you like that let's just get rid of them notes now we've got rid of their missions and I'll bring our bow down here we start off with a first aid a torch and a can of chili can now craft a few arrows I don't need to keep hold of that seed just grab a few of these rocks and we'll head towards this trader and I guess day one we really just want to establish somewhere we can put down some boxes, somewhere that's safe. The zombies are not really much of a threat during the daytime one on one but at night time they're set to run. Now, it's been a while since I've got back into this game but I have been practicing like I say over on Twitch but we've come up with some really good ideas there. We took over a fire station and yeah, as time goes on of course on that server things get progressively harder. As they will in th this particular let's play so let's just hope we can at the very least get through the first horde night. Okay, I want this rabbit. to pump some points into bow because it takes ages to draw the bow and accuracy is not that great. 
I need something to skin that with, so I need some bones. And how many is it to craft the basic bone? Out of five. I just need one more. There's probably some more laying across this road. So just give us ten backs. So that's enough to do a couple of meals. Food doesn't go very far in this game. And oh, we've got a level two spear in the back of that truck. It's only a stone spear. I don't actually use the spear. I'm not that great with it. I know its power attack is to throw it. Now I guess my plan is to pump out as many quests as we can from this first trader before the first horde night. I'll have a look around the trader, see if there's a small commercial building perhaps we can take over. That stone axe is not that good. So I'd like to throw. <laughs> well, missed. Okay, let's try again. Okay. Still not powerful enough. <laughs> I like the fact that I could actually just grab it off him. I do need to be careful because like I say, I do have permadeath or I am going to honour the permadeath. Okay. Trader Jen. It's our first trader. Hello. Look what the cat so let's look what jobs she has. She's got a few clear zombies, a few fetch quests. I guess we'll do a clear zombies, I the one that's closest. I had a good feeling about you. Good luck. And I'm just going to condense our inventory and repair some of our things here. So I've made a level two club and we did find a level two claw hammer just around the back. It's always handy to check the traders for stuff. Okay, let's just have a look where this quest is that we've got. See what's around us. The trader's just here. I'm quite sure how big this town is. These maps are random generated. And oh, I'll take it. Something's telling us we want to go with the spear. I'm not so sure if I do. I might go with the bat. We'll see. Just have to see what weapons we come across before we go and commit to some sort of specialization. I think being by myself, I want to do archery. But perhaps we'll stick with the bat as our melee weapon. Okay. So we've got a house and gas here. We did actually recently take over a house and gas. Let's just see if there's anything over in here. As a base location on the previous server that we had. This one's a lot smaller. Be at least a position to hold up. We'll check what's on the roof. Some more nails. That means I can actually build a decent storage chest. I've got enough nails on me now. Of course, the benches are all destroyed now, so you can't use the ones at the traders. And you can't use the ones you find in the world. Sometimes you do find schematics in the actual workbenches, but unfortunately we can't use this. Have a wabbit. It's tempting me. It's tempting me. I know I'm overloaded, encumbered slightly, so what I really want to do is just get a chest down. Before the afternoon's out, we want to go and check this quest out, see if we can get that done. <laughs> Doesn't do much. I'll have my stone back, arrows back. Okay, so let's just get a ladder up here. The building in this game is quite enjoyable. Um, 
one thing that I do wish they would add is a way to keep chickens because when you get into the food stuff coming across eggs is a pain. Okay. This could be relatively safe for tonight. Let's check what's in our loot here. Wasn't that tough to fight for. And a level 2 iron sledgehammer. It's not got much left on it. It's almost broken. We need to get a repair kit, but... That's definitely going to be better than the club. It'll take a lot of stamina to swing it, though. Better than nothing. Okay, so we've got a wheel and a tyre. Let's just grab some of this other stuff around here. Get a couple of chests down. And I'll actually shove our claim block down. Now we are on a single player solo, but that does stop zombies spawning in a short radius of us. But everything we do, you create heat and make noise, going to attract them over. So I can get a couple of rightful storage boxes down. I've got enough nails and wood to be able to do that rather than the small stuff. Of course, I want to get a campfire down, so... I guess we're going to call this our base, at least for the time being. Okay. So what's in here? Oh, and a pistol straight off. Hey. It's pretty lucky. I've done too bad out of this rooftop. Okay, so I have put the bedroll down, but... Even if we do die, we won't honour it. it. Does point to the base location for us though. So I'll stick it down anyway. Okay. Onwards, let's see what this quest is all about. And that rabbit is saying, come waste your arrows on me. <laughs> ah, we got some dirty water down here. So I did bring out them empty jars. We may as well just fill them up. And then we'll boil the water when we get back so we got some fresh water. Day one we really just want to secure some food and water. And so far we're on track. At 20 past 3 in the afternoon. We're already on to our first quest. Okay. I'll grab these. Gives us animal fat, rotten flesh and some bones. And I guess we've got to start in the back garden. Okay, so these are like mini dungeons if you will. If we end up looting this before I say, and we start the quest, you'll see it's there again, but I won't cheese the loot by taking it twice. We'll just go in as intended. Okay, we've got a college jacket there. It'll give us some more heat resistance. And I do believe it gives us an extra run speed as well. Sports jacket. And I guess it intends us to jump across this way. Don't recognise this POI. So as soon as we enter into this area, we'll start waking stuff up. I want to be careful because I haven't got great equipment on me. I've seen how effective that bow is. Don't mind going one on one. Where are you? I've woken somebody up here. Ah, there we are. I don't think there's much point in using that. It's powerful, but it really does de drain your stamina quick. Okay. I don't actually have a shovel, otherwise I'd be grabbing some of that cement there. don't know if it wants us to actually fall down, go over the rooftop. We could come through here. 
can hear all sorts of things underneath me, I'm sure. I've woken something up, I'm not sure if that's outside. Some duct tape, bit of sand. Some lock picks. I mean, I guess I'm just after some food would be a help, as always, at the start. As your food bar goes down really far. You notice under my UI you can see a green and a blue bar just at the bottom. That represents the food and drink. Okay, I'm just going to fall in here. Somebody's in there, I know it. side here. Okay. Sounds a bit clearer for the time being. Just close this door behind me for a sec while we loot this room. that makes us cornered but we could get out of here just okay you knocking oh, it just takes so long I'll just get some stamina back for a second use this door to my advantage So this mission is just a clear mission. Probably sell that at the trader. Don't tend to use their morphine drip things. Chairs, we'll scrap that down for some leather. Okay, coffee. Take it. Sink cans. Some murky water. Okay, so I think it wants us to go through this door. I can't see. Check the toilet, see if there's anything in there, of course, toilet paper, we'll grab it. Some meds. Okay, iron, we got a biker. Okay, just close that door. Bikers are pretty strong. Really want to fall back here. take both of these on. Let's get back into the kitchen. Okay. Let's try and get rid of that one. Circle around. I was thinking about going into that back room then, but then we would be cornered. Okay. He's out. Say. Um, let's just eat this child of meat. It does make minus our water by 5%, but we'll just drink this water as well. We've got some coffee. That'll give us a little bit of a stamina push as well when it comes to swinging this giant iron hammer. Scrap that. And... Let's just have a coffee. Okay, onwards. I think I checked all in there. So these guys come from in here. Oh, okay, I guess we're going down then. Looks like where the main loot is, just down here. If you crouched while you shoot your bow, you get a sneak attack bonus. So, oh, there you go. There's 
what looks like an army guy just here. It's not much with the stone arrows, but it's something. Let's take a few. It's a new animation that how they go across on the floor like that. Okay. Grab the feathers. Okay. Shotgun Messiah. Let's see what we get in this crate. Um a pipe. AK there. Oh, don't need to be damaging that. And some armor, so it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh, another army guy, where did you come from? Ha <laughs> ha! Fantastic. It's pretty satisfying when one of their heads comes off. Okay, a few schematics. Tech Junkie Volume 1. Robotic Drone. Medic Mod Schematic. I've never actually used the drone before, so if we can get up to a stage where we can craft it, that'd be cool. Um, I'll take Tech Junkie Volume 1, but I'm not much of a fan of the noise that the stun button makes, so... I don't think I'll be using it. I'm going to keep that and sell it back to the trader. Okay. I think there's a door behind there. If we had a wrench, I'd wrench that door. And it looks like this is the end of it. I don't know where the exit is exactly. We might have come around the wrong way as we fell down into this basement. We're probably just going to have to nerd pole up there. But we have completed the quest. Let's craft. Let's just jump on these boxes like so. Okay. Try not to fall back down. Okay, just jump across here and jump out the window. Okay. So half seven, we do have enough time to make it back to the trader. We'll go and hand in this quest. Didn't do too bad out of that. We got ourselves a pipe machine gun, level two. Trader Jen, what have you got for me? I'm going to close that door behind me just in case someone's wandering. I don't know if they can, but... Now okay, some 7.62mm ammo. We'll take 60 rounds of that for completing the, the quest because we've just actually got a gun. The Molotovs would have been I've nice as well. Okay. Be careful and, and I'll pick that other mission up. Kill. We probably could do that tonight, although being that it's 20 past 8 and all the zombies are going to start going feral, it's probably not a wise idea unless we get it started now. Um, the dead rooster. We can raid this POI because it's only round the corner from us. I think we'll go back to our base location and because I've started that we're going to fail it now but I'll take the fail and we'll just go and condense our stuff back here. We really need to get some food sorted out and it won't be long before darkness comes in. This is not really going to be much of a base. I still need to raid this and I know there's a safe underneath. I don't know if we want to hold up here. We're certainly going to hold up here tonight, but we could build our own thing. I don't know, maybe we could extend off this. We'll see. Just going to take a moment to sort out our inventory. Okay, I guess we'll make some padded boots. Level 1. It's better than the fibre stuff, and we're not actually wearing any shoes at the minute, so... Taking a moment just to get as prepared as we can. So we're going to need to get some more cloth in order to make some tape. We've got some glue. It takes murky water bones to make glue. Okay. It's 
so I had enough animal fat and some fiber just to make a couple of candles. Now, underneath we've got an oil drum burning and that's probably generating a bit of heat. Wouldn't surprise me if it actually attracts some zombies over, so should probably get rid of it. Let's clean up some stuff on the roof as well. Tidy up our base a little bit. What's the beginning of it? Hey, there's some cloth. Oh, I hear a wolf. Okay. I think it's gone in the garage. Um, I don't really want to drop down there to face off against the wolf. I'm definitely not powerful enough as a level 2 and our bow Do have the gun, but even that, it's only a level two. My best bit's probably to take a chunk out. Okay, can see what we're doing now. Spook somebody else down there. Okay, the more arrows we can get in that wolf, the better. Still got 12. Try and conserve our ammunition. I always prefer to use the ammo on the horde mites, especially as we can't make it. It's everything we've got is pretty valuable. Oh, come on, how was that a miss? Say, I don't want to jump down there, or at least just not yet. Okay, let's try a few rounds. Oh, I would run off now, <laughs> didn't like that. Of course, this is making noise so. someone else down there. This wolf is going to be a problem. Okay, I'm going to go for it. I didn't realise it was right there, but we got it. Okay. She must have come in through the garage. Oh, knock her out with the hatchet. He's taken a few hits. Come on, stay down. Out of stamina. That's the problem with this sledgehammer. Okay, well, there's some more charred meat for us tonight, and I'll have my stone arrows back. Hopefully, that's all the trouble we're going to get for tonight. So I think that's a good place to call it quits on the first episode of 7 Days to Die. Do let me know in the comments what you thought of this one and we will be picking things back up on day two. We'll head off to Trader Gen. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.